In these last two videos of vectors in R2 and R3, we're going to look at finding the equation of a plane using vectors. So a plane is a two-dimensional flat surface that extends indefinitely. So if you think of a piece of paper in the three dimensions, think of a piece of paper that just carries on forever. That is a plane. Now the general equation of a plane is a linear function, ax plus by plus cz equal to zero or equal to d. It could be any constant. So that's where a, b, and c, a, b, c, d are just real numbers. That is the equation of a plane. So we want to use vectors and the knowledge we've built up to now to see us how to find, help us find the equation of a plane. Now remember, in two dimensions, if you want a linear function, you've got a straight line, you need two points to find the equation of a straight line. In three dimensions, we need three points to find the equation of a plane, but we're building up to that. So let us just look at this picture of a plane here. If we let this be point P naught, X naught, Y naught, Z naught. So that's a specific point on the plane. And let point P be any arbitrary point X, Y, Z. Here I've got this arrow coming out of the plane. This is a vector. P naught and P are points on the plane. Here I've got a vector. I'm going to call it N because it, this vector is normal to the plane. So it's a vector that's perpendicular to the plane. Now I've got it here at P naught, but you know vectors... We look at the direction and the size, so it can be anywhere on the plane. It can point up, it can point down, as long as this vector is perpendicular to the plane. All right, and I'm going to give that vector the components A, B, and C. All right, so if I look at the vector P naught P, so the vector that starts at P naught goes to P, that vector is X minus X naught, y minus y naught, z minus z naught. All right, so now I've got a vector on the plane, and I've got a vector perpendicular to it. And what do I know about perpendicular vectors? You need to know about the dot product at this stage, and we know the dot product of a, two vectors. If that dot product, those vectors are perpendicular, then they, that dot product is zero. So that'll give me a times x minus x naught, plus b times y minus y naught, plus c times z minus z naught equal to zero because they are perpendicular. So let's see what we've got here. This is then the equation of my plane. It's going to take this format. That's the equation of my plane. So what do I need? I need a point on the plane and a vector that's perpendicular to that plane. With those two pieces of information, I can generate the equation of a plane. So let's take a look. We're given a normal vector, minus i plus 3j plus 2k. You can also write it in a different notation, minus 1, 3, 2. And I've got a point on the plane. Find the equation of a plane that's perpendicular to this normal vector and passes through this point. Well, now we've got our general formula. So we know that I'm going to write it there, a times x minus x naught, plus b times y minus y naught, plus c times z minus z naught is equal to zero. That is the equation of the plane. So a is this minus one. So minus one times x minus four. b is the three, so plus three times y minus naught. And c is two, plus two times z minus the z coordinate, which is minus 1, so minus minus 1 is plus 1. That is all equal to 0. So if we multiply this out and tidy it up a little bit, we'll get minus x plus 3y plus 2z, and here I've got 4 plus 0 plus 3. 3, a 2, 2 times 1 is 2, so it's 4 plus 2 is 6, so plus 6 equal to 0, or we can write it as minus x plus 3y plus 2z is equal to minus 6. So there's the equation of this plane, and what did we need? We needed a point and a vector perpendicular to the plane. So let's go the other way around. Let's say we've got the equation to a plane, and we want to find a vector normal to the plane. Now we know 
that for this normal vector, if I look at the coefficients of x, y, and z, that leads me to the normal vector. So this normal vector, I can simply read off 3 minus 2, 6. And just take note, the number on the right-hand side, the constant, has nothing to do with the normal vector. That's the normal vector to the plane, given the equation of a plane. So let's look at what else we can do. Let's say we're given two planes, and we want to find the angle between two planes. Now, if you think of angles and what we've been looking at up to now, we know that we can use the dot product between two vectors to find an angle. But I'm not given vectors. I've got two planes. But if you think of two planes, and then what we know we can find from the previous example is a normal vector to the plane. If I look at the normal vector to this first plane, minus 1, 2, minus 1, and I look at the normal vector to the second plane, 5, minus 2, 4. If you can visualize two planes and two normal vectors to the planes, the angle between those normal vectors will be the same as the angle between the two planes. So rather than finding the angle between the planes, I'm simply going to find the angle between the two normal vectors. And we can use the dot product for that because we know cos of the angle in between is the dot product of n1 and n2 over the product of their magnitudes. So if I look at the dot product, I've got minus 5, minus 4, minus 4. So minus 5, minus 8 is minus 13. Then the norm of, or the magnitude of, what, of vector n1 is 1 plus 4 plus 1. It's 4, 5, 6. That's root 6 times 25 plus 4 is 29 plus 16 is 45. So there we go. So we've got cos of theta is minus 13 over the root of 6 times the root of 45. So you can use your calculator and find the angle of theta. Now it's, we're going to have to round it off. So it's going to be approximately equal to 142.29 degrees. If you're working in degrees or you can work in radians depending on what you're working in so to find the angle between two planes we look at the angles between the normal vectors to the planes because the angles between the planes is the same as the angles between the normal vectors to the planes right so in the last video on vectors we're going to be looking at how to find the equation of a plane if i'm just given three points on the plane